Hey guys, Crypto Dad. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to do another one of my Crypto Dad lightning tips on reinstalling software. And today we're going to be doing the Electrum Bitcoin wallet. So let's get going. Okay, I had to reinstall everything on my computer from scratch. Uh, I messed up my boot partition and I reinstalled Windows clean. And I thought to myself, why not? Uh, walk some of my users through the installation of uh, software that we use on a daily basis. So here we go. Let's go over here to our Firefox browser. Keep in mind over here in uh, the options we've got always ask where to save files. That allows us to have more control over where the software downloads and we save it. We're going to go over here to software and the Electrum Bitcoin wallet. This is the home page. Now I've made my uh, resolution higher on my uh, screen over here. And I've also just uh, blown up the browser so you can see a little better what I'm doing. I've had a few requests for that. We're going to go over here to downloads. And we're going to be downloading the uh, Windows installer here. So we're just going to click here. All right, when it uh, comes up for save file, we'll click save file. And we're going to go over here to our quick link software. I'm going to create a new folder. We'll call this one Electrum. All right, we'll hit enter twice and then just click save. All right, and then we can click this uh, down arrow over here to get a look. Uh, click the folder. This is the folder where we saved our file. Now we need to verify this. Okay, Windows installer, we're gonna, the signature here, this is a cryptographic uh, signing file. Uh, that's a lot of cipher text. Uh, I could cut and paste this into an empty text file, uh, but I'm not gonna do that. It's a little easier to just right click on that and choose save link as. Okay, and that even gives it the name I'm after. It, it, uh, and it's gonna drop it in the exact same folder I just saved in. So we'll click Save. Alrighty, and then uh, we can uh, open that folder again and take a look. And now you can see I've got these two files there. Now I need the signing key from the developer, which is up here. This is Thomas V. That's the developer. Now there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, all the different developers that uh, contributed to this project, but uh, this one up top is the one I'm after. And uh, you'll notice here, uh, let's see, we can get that a little bigger too. Uh, this 4096R is kind of the header. It's the type of signature that we're dealing with. And then the key ID over here, this is what I need, the second part. So we're just gonna highlight, right click and copy. Alrighty, now uh, I'm gonna launch GPA. Now I installed that on a previous video. So if, it, if you don't have it, then I'm going to give you a reference to my previous video. All right, there's our key manager. We're going to generate our personal key later. All righty. Now, uh, I'm going to get this out of the way. What we're going to do here is we're going to download a developer signing key from uh, a server on the internet. Now we go over here to server, we click retrieve keys, and then we're just going to paste in that key ID that we copied. This is Thomas V's key ID. So I'm going to click OK. And it's going to run out onto the internet, find it, all in due time. Get a little patient. There we go. One public key read, one public key imported. OK, and there's his signing key. And as you'll see down here is the fingerprint. This is why I like the GPA interface. You can uh, look at a lot of things here. Uh, we can do a lot of these things in the command line, but and I'm going to show you that in a minute. But uh, if for if we'd never met this gentleman, uh, or if we'd met this gentleman, pardon me, and we uh, he had given us the fingerprint, this is where we would verify it. Okay, and we'll go into that in a minute as well. So now that I have his signing key and my key ring, I can go over here. And I'm going to do a shift, hold down the shift key for dear life, right click on this uh, clear part of the window. And it didn't quite take, shift, click, there we go, open PowerShell window here. 
The nice thing about that is when the PowerShell window opens, we're in the right directory. You see here we're on D Software Electrum, right? We can do a DIR and see that those are the two files that we have in there. Okay, we can do a GPG uh, dash dash uh, version. version. Pardon me. Okay, now if this doesn't happen, you'll know that you don't have it installed on your computer and you can go to my previous video. All right, now I'm going to select this and I'm going to use the uh, control C to copy. All right, and then I can control V for paste. See, isn't that cool? Uh, now I'm not going to do that right away because we need to start the command. It's going to be a GPG dash dash verify okay and uh, we'll hit space and then we can do our control paste all right that is the signing file that we're going to verify now we can just uh, backspace here oops sorry mm -hmm. we don't backspace we hit one space and we do another paste control v and then we'll backspace and we've got this beautiful command line here so what we've got here I'll, I'll let me break it down just quickly for you. We've got the GPG. We're invoking the uh, GNUPG software. And we're giving it a switch here, this verify. We want the GPG software to verify. Now, it needs parameters, which is a fancy word for things that the software acts upon. Okay. Now, we've got our signing file here that we downloaded next to our installer file that we also downloaded. Now that we've got this wonderful command line, we're just going to hit enter. And look at that. Isn't that wonderful? So we've got uh, this good signature from Thomas. Isn't that wonderful? Now, uh, don't worry about this warning here. We get a little deeper into cryptography and signing keys. You'll understand that uh, a signing key should be verified. Now, yes, we went and downloaded on the Internet. And that's all well and good, but we have no indication that we uh, that that signature that we downloaded actually belongs to Thomas. And the way to do that is to verify the fingerprint. So we meet Thomas. He says, "Hey, I've got a signature online somewhere. I'm going to write down my uh, fingerprint for you." And then I look at that fingerprint that he gave me and make sure that it matches this fingerprint that gets generated. And that's the way to. Uh, fully trust the key. But we're going to go ahead and trust this key anyway. We're going to ignore the warning. And we know that we've got a good installer. It was not altered in transport or corrupted in transport. And we can also trust it that it was signed by the developer. So it is what he says it is. Okay. That's why we do all this stuff. So let's double click. Alrighty. Oh, are you telling me? Oh, okay. <laughs> Things went strange there for a minute. Okay, uh, I'm going to click install. I'll go through all that. I'm just going to quickly double check here. Yeah. Sorry to throw this up here, but uh, my computer tends to do this sometimes. It switches my playback device so I don't hear my alerts. Uh, but that's just between me and my computer. Okay, we've completed that. That's all wonderful. Okay, now I'm going to get these out of the way for you. Uh, we're done with the key manager. We've got our Electrum over here. Uh, I'm going to pin to taskbar down there. And I'm going to get rid of that shortcut. Empty my trash. Keep my desktop nice and clean. Okay, we're going to go down here to the taskbar. We're going to launch our Bitcoin Electrum and, uh, software. It's going to come up. We're going to do auto connect. We're going to just uh, let it stay default wallet. You can call it anything you want. It's going to be a standard wallet. Make sure it's a standard wallet in this case. I might do some fancier videos later. Uh, create a new seed, yes. Okay, this is the seed. It's very important. You should uh, write it down somewhere. I'm going to copy and paste it into, let's see, where shall we put it? Let's go over here to software and let's look at the last one, our Electrum. I am going to create a new 
text file right there. I'm going to call it seed. This is just for demo purposes. You could do this too if you want. We're going to paste that seed in there. All right, and we're going to save it. Now, the seed is very important, and it's probably not a, a best practice to just leave it floating around on your computer. Uh, you would want to put it on a piece of paper and save it. But uh, you would, it's better to print it out because if you uh, are writing quickly and you can't read your own writing down the road, you could not be able, <clears throat> you might need to uh, restore from seed and you might have an issue reading your own handwriting. Okay, so anyway, there's the seed. It's, uh, in, it's still in my clipboard. We're going to go to the next step. Let me get that guy out of the way for you. Okay, it wants us to be sure that we have uh, noted that seed. That gonna let me do it <clears throat> pardon me I guess I'm gonna need to go back over here let's uh, copy that back into our clipboard again okay there we go so we just paste that in there we would want to best practices again we want to type that guy in there so we know for sure that we uh, have got it saved we're familiar with it, and uh, we are not going to lose it. Okay, going to click next. Click next. Going to create a passphrase. Uh, we want it to be a good passphrase that no one is going to guess because this is protecting our Bitcoin. I'm going to create a pretty strong password. I might do a whole video on passwords. It's a fascinating subject. Uh, okay, so there's the wallet and it's ready to go. So, uh, you know, we can send bitcoins, we can receive bitcoins, and as you can see down here, the balance is zero. So, uh, now that we've got it installed, we can move on and do all kinds of wonderful stuff. Okay, guys, so that was our installation of the Electrum Bitcoin wallet with verification and as quick as I possibly could without too much long-winded explanations. Okay, so if you like my videos, give me a like, thumbs up, and if you subscribe to me, my channel, then uh, you'll be alerted whenever I post new videos. Thanks again for joining me, and hope you have a wonderful day.